Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, so I am Dr. Pratik Patil and today we will be discussing here regarding follicular lymphoma. So follicular lymphoma is a type of B cell lymphoma. There are multiple lymphomas on the body. So lymphomas are something when you have the lymph nodes of the body enlarged. Lymph nodes everyone has in their body and the main action of lymph node is to drain the lymphatic system of the body to drain the blood from one organ to another organ and the lymph from one organ to another organ these lymph nodes play a very vital role so as to circulate the blood and the lymph node in the body so these lymph nodes are situated in very specific areas of the body for an example in the neck in the axilla in the chest in the abdomen and, do, uh, and down near the groin. So these are the very typical sites of big lymph nodes that everyone has in their body. And once the body's immunity goes down a specific level, these lymphomas, uh, these lymph nodes basically transform into malignant uh, subtypes, which is called as a lymphoma. So lymphoma is basically a type of blood malignancy. So it's a blood cancer and it has to be treated to get a complete cure. Now the good thing about the follicular lymphoma is these are not very aggressive. These appear in the body so the patient gets to know it very very easily because the lymph nodes in the body are swelled up. So usually the, the people that are presenting to us with follicular lymphomas are the one in the early part of the early stage of the disease. So they do not usually present in the later stages where the treatment becomes a little difficult. Third thing, they are not very aggressive. So the treatment is also not very aggressive. So the patient does not suffer from a lot of side effects as seen with other high grade lymphomas. So follicular lymphomas are usually low grade lymphomas. And in many circumstances, even after diagnosis of these lymphomas, you need not need any treatment. You can be put on just observation depending upon uh, what symptoms you have and where all this lymphoma is situated in your body. So follicular lymphoma is a type of lymphoma which is diagnosed on biopsy. So if you're presenting to a doctor with swelled up lymph nodes like in the neck or the groin or the axilla or somewhere in the body on the CT scan, the doctor will definitely do a biopsy to diagnose that type of cancer. So on the biopsy report, you will the first biopsy report will always suggest that it is a presence of lymphoma. Although we have to process the second biopsy report, which is by the name of IHC, which is also called as immunohistochemistry. This biopsy report, which is in the second part of the biopsy will tell us which exact type of lymphoma this is. So for the typical follicular types of lymphoma, there will be a IHC examination, which will be by the name of CD3, CD5, CD20, CD19, BCL2, BCL6. These are the markers that we do on the biopsy specimen to delineate the various type of lymphomas, whether it is follicular lymphoma, whether it is marginal zone lymphoma, whether it is DLBCL, whether it's some other kind of lymphoma. There are at least 50 types of different lymphomas that have been identified in human body. So follicular lymphoma are very, very indolent and many a times we do not treat the patients and just keep them on a watchful observation for couple of years till the disease is not progressing beyond a certain limit or it is causing any problems to the patient. So the first step is a biopsy and the second step is a staging evaluation. Staging evaluation is usually done with the help of a PET CT scan. Okay, please do not go for a normal CT scan and replace the PET. PET in cases of lymphoma is not replaceable. So PET scan at the baseline has to be done because it will tell us the stage of this particular lymphoma and it will also give us the aggressiveness of the lesions. So these are the two very important things uh, to know in cases of follicular lymphomas for your further treatment as during your treatment we are going to repeat your PET CT scan again and again to see whether we have covered this disease in total or not. So after the biopsy and after the PET CT scan we generally start with the treatment with some routine basic blood evaluation and heart echocardiograms and all. So the treatment of follicular lymphoma is not given for all the stages. Usually the first two stages, there are four stages of a follicular lymphoma. The first stage is where the lymph nodes of only one part of the body are swelled. Like for example, let's take the neck. If the patient is having the appearance of follicular lymphoma only in the neck lymph nodes, then we call it as a stage one follicular lymphoma. 
In these cases, if the patient is not having any kind of a problem, his blood levels are all normal. He is not having any breathing difficulty, no appearance of any fever, no weight loss, no excessive sweating in the body. So the patient is basically totally asymptomatic, does not have any symptoms. In these cases, we just like to observe the disease and do not treat. That is also a, a treatment that is approved for follicular lymphomas. Like I've been saying that all follicular lymphomas need not be treated. So these are those lymphomas where the patient does not have any kind of symptom and we can just put them on watchful observation. The second stage of lymphoma is where at least two group of lymph nodes are involved. They can be adjacent or they can they can't be they can be on various parts of the body, but they should be close by. So suppose neck and axilla, both the lymph nodes are enlarged. So that would be something like a stage two lymphoma. Stage three lymphoma is multiple lymph nodes of the body are enlarged, which are on both the sides of the diaphragm. Diaphragm is something which is an organ which is situated between the chest and abdomen. So if the lymph nodes crosses this diaphragm, it is staged as a stage 3 lymphoma. And stage 4 lymphoma is something which is widespread in the body involving multiple nodes, multiple organs, blood and the bone marrow as well. So also doing your baseline bone marrow evaluation is very very important in cases of lymphoma because it gives us an idea as to your bone marrow is involved or not because that is usually the site of origin of these lymphomas. So that becomes a stage 4 lymphoma and it has to be treated. So like I told you, stage 1 lymphomas can always be observed. Even some kind of stage 2 lymphomas where the patient is not symptomatic and uh, not having any symptoms and the blood markers are all normal, then it can, they can be observed as well. Although it is always better to treat this kind of lymphomas because we are halting their growth then and then so that they do not spread further. So the treatment of follicular lymphoma that was done five years prior was a combination of chemotherapy and targeted therapy or immunotherapy. Now the treatment is much more evolved and we do not need to give any kind of chemotherapy in these patients. So naturally with six doses of immunotherapy for follicular lymphomas, the patients are usually cured. The PET scan shows a complete absence of disease in the body and then after the patient can be kept on either observation or we continue the immunotherapy for a period of approximately one or two years but just one cycle in two months. So that's a very uh, uh, much uh, that's a very good deal for these patients when follicular lymphoma is concerned because you do not have any kind of side effects when we are treating follicular lymphoma. The disease goes off very very easily. It is treated very very easily but the only catch in the treatment of follicular lymphoma that every patient needs to know is that follicular lymphomas keep to appear again and again. So these are recurrent type of lymphomas. They do come in your body again. So once a patient of follicular lymphoma, he is always a patient of these kind of lymphomas. So next time when the follicular lymphoma comes, it can be follicular component or it can be some other type of a lymphoma also which could evolve into a much aggressive form of lymphomas which are the high grade B cell lymphomas as well. So catching this lymphomas on time and treating them becomes a very very important aspect of treatment as well. So if you are a patient of follicular lymphoma you've been treated one thing you should remember is this follicular lymphoma can come back anytime. So you have to be quite observant on your body if to as to if you are developing any kind of symptoms you have to report to your oncologist immediately. And the second most important thing is that you should ask your doctor regarding maintenance therapy. There is something called as a maintenance therapy in the treated cases of follicular lymphoma where we try to push the recurrence of this next cancer as long as possible, as far as possible. So these are the two important questions you should be asking your doctor oncologist that am I being put on an active surveillance? And second, am I being put on the maintenance therapy for follicular lymphoma? The maintenance therapy is usually in the form of the similar injections that you have taken for the treatment of follicular lymphoma and do not have absolutely no side effects. So this is what the complete treatment of follicular lymphoma is. Again, the treatment varies from person to person uh, as to the sex is taken into consideration, the age is taken into consideration, other factors like hepatitis B, hepatitis C, presence of an HIV or presence of any other disease in the body is taken into consideration and treatment can be modified here and there. But this was the general basic uh, treatment for follicular lymphomas and if you have any other queries regarding to these lymphomas you can always reach out to me uh, with comment on this video and my contact number given below. Thank you.